morning, y'all. It's August 29th, day 54. And I just left the Wahoodie shelter. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, so it started raining about 7. And it rained all night. I think it stopped around 4 something this morning. Which is what the Weather Underground said. That um, weather app is pretty accurate. Um, but anyways, so, it, you know, I woke up at six, I slept in a little bit and I was like dreading, you know, getting, putting everything up. I knew my tent would be soaked, but when I got out there, it wasn't that bad. Like the air must be kind of dry because it was semi dry. And so I put it up and it wasn't usually, usually it'll be just like soaking damp and it wasn't like that at all. So that's awesome. And plus that the, um rain started before after started after i set up camp and stopped before i broke down camp and that is huge that's a blessing anyone who's backpacked knows that breaking down camp setting up camp in the rain is probably the worst um but it, it didn't it was perfect timing if it's gonna rain and it needs to rain that's the best time for it to rain or when i'm in town <laughs> But anyways, um, man, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. Just like, I can't wait. I feel like I'm just going to do really good today. I'm planning on hiking. I think it's another 16 to this pond. Gut Hooks doesn't say there's any camping there. But um, we're banking on it because it's like less than a mile from the road and it's near a pond. There's usually camping, but if not, we'll figure out something. Um, cause that's what I'd like to do is just tomorrow get into Rutland as soon as possible. Um, get all my stuff done, leave the next day. And, um, I'm really, really going to try to make that happen. So let me see what else. I know there's something else I wanted to say, but I can't think of it right now, but I'm sure it'll pop in my head in like as soon as I turn this camera off. But anyways, um, yeah, man, that's what I was going to say. Today, I am not going to hit a wall, right? <laughs> no walls today. <sighs> I hope someone's listening. Um, but I'm going to try my hardest not to get frustrated when it happens and just accept it. Um, I don't know. I'm just being too hard on myself, I think. And, you know, there's a lot of factors that could be contributing to this. You know, the one thing is I'm not a spring chicken. And I'm in that phase, I guess, in life where I'm really feeling kind of a difference. And I hate to say it. Oh, man. And I actually put down these lyrics from the Smashing Pumpkin song last night in the video because... It's the songs about like molding your life around being childlike and, you know, being a child and having that inner youth in you. And then um, when the realization of aging comes on, it's um, it's a hard thing to take and it's a hard thing to change, to go along with the change. Um, so that's kind of why I did that. But anyways, um. I refuse to get old. Like I said, I'm going to live to be 120. And I may look like I'm 40-ish out here. But in here, I'm still like a 15, 16-year-old for sure. I'm sure that's obvious. It shows. All right, y'all. So I'm going to get to hiking. And I'll get back with y'all. All right.
Hey y'all. So I've done 9.2 miles and it's 1230. Um, I think that pond that me and um, that mule said that he wanted to meet up with is 6.7 miles away, which isn't that far. But then I was seeing, I, I looked and there's a N, long trail N. Like you can actually camp across the way. They let you camp for free and there's, but, um, and I think that was eight something, but it's past, like, I think Mule wants to get off in Killington to go to the post office, but he was just going to go to the post office and get back on the trail. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I might go forward. I'm going to see if I can get some, um, reception and then text them and let them know exactly what I'm going to do because we did say we'd meet there um I know like I can tell he wants to catch up with the other guys though and um that's not like really something I care about doing um just because you know I just kind of I don't know even when I'm like going to town with everyone and stuff I still just do my own thing because I just got so much stuff to do so I'm really just I hate to say it like this, but I'm kind of just hoping, like, I just stop seeing everyone because it's almost, like, harder to just keep seeing them because then you're, like, because then I'm, like, man, I, I, I want to hike with them. And, but the truth is I really don't. I want to do my own thing, and it's so much more, like, freeing when you're just doing your own thing and not um, worried about anybody else. And, like, um, I don't know, like, if Mule wanted to just, like, hike, with me and stuff like that that would be a difference but I understand why he'd want to catch up to the guys you know he's a young dude and um that's the thing like when you're like a little bit older like my age it's there's not a lot of people out here like that are middle aged so it's hard to connect with anyone really um but like I said I I hiked in 2016 I hiked um from the shanties all the way to Vermont, basically by myself. Like, I would hike with a person here and there, but for the most part, I was by myself the whole time. So, and um, I don't know, I had a really good time when I hiked by myself, but the, it does get lonely too. Um, it's catch 22, you know, and you start craving company. Um, I, I remember I would like take like day hikers hostage and talk to them for like ever. But we'll see what happens. I'm not really sure, man. I gotta. I feel good right now. No wall, man. I. We'll see what happens. I'm almost at that 10 mile mark, so I have a big climb coming up. I'm just gonna pace myself up that climb, and then when I get down to the bottom, I'll definitely know what is the best option for me, and I will get back with y'all, and I'll let y'all know. All right. Hey y'all, so I made it down to River Road and let me see, I'm at 14.3 miles and man, I hit that wall again, just like I feel dead to the world. I just don't understand it. This is crazy. Um, so I just went ahead and called a shuttle and I'm going to hike 2.3 to Route 100 
And um, the guy's name is Steamboat. He's going to pick me up. I'm going to go into Rutland and just probably take a couple days off. Maybe even go see a doctor. Get some blood work done. Just not really sure. Like, this is not just not normal to be feel fine. And then all of a sudden just, like, feel, like, depleted and out of it. Just at the end of the day. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's weird. It's the weirdest thing. It's, like I said really frustrating and um i don't know anyways i have 2.3 miles to hike to route 100 then i'm gonna meet him he said he'd be there in about an hour probably take me an hour to get there honestly so um yeah i'll get back with y'all all right Hey y'all, so I made it into Rutland, um, this really cool guy, he's pretty much a trail angel more than a shuttler, his name's Steamboat, he's in the comments on Guthook, call him man, super cool guy, he only charged me 5 bucks, but I gave him 10 bucks, um, you can tell he just does it because he likes hikers, you know, and he probably, I think he just wants gas money, basically, but super nice guy, picked me up right away, took I told him I need to go to the Traveler Inn. He knew where it was and took me right here. Um, so I'm here at the Travel the Travel Inn, I believe it's called, in Rutland. And the owner's super nice. The place is kind of, you know, kind of like Rutland. A little sketch. Um, but it's one of those places where people live there too, you know. But he hooked us up in a room in the back. And he gave me a double and didn't even charge me. Um, cause I'm letting my buddy mule stay with me. Um, and let me see what else. Yeah. So I don't know. I just got in, I'm getting situated and I've been talking to my wife about, um, what's going on. She's been doing some research and she is telling me that I need to up, you know, up my fat intake, that I need to start taking more fat and more and so, in the beginning, I think it was just more like protein, building your muscles. Now, I just need that fat to carry me along. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to do a resupply and get a bunch of, a lot more fattening stuff that I eat throughout the day and see if that helps. Um, but for right now, I'm here and I'm just going to get situated Then I'm going to go eat and I'll get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so it's today is actually my zero day. Um, yesterday, when I got in to um, Rutland, it was really late. I was exhausted, like you saw in the video. You know, I've been hitting this um, crashing really hard. Um, and I explained a little bit after I talked to my wife and I did a little bit of research. It May, it didn't make sense um, when I was researching everything like Lyme disease and stuff like that. It's something that you you feel the exhaustion all the way through the day. And everything I've read and I, my wife read indicates that the crash is coming from the, my diet. Now, my diet had been working fine um, up until just recently. And I really think it's I'm taking in too much 
more protein and carbs than I need and I need a lot more fat. I am losing tons of weight. Um, but yeah, so I think hopefully I have that figured out. I'm going to be eating lots more peanut butter, um, more spam and just more fatty stuff like olive oil. I'm going to start using a lot more of that. I just recently started using it again. Um, the last three days when I started feeling weak because I figured maybe that might be what it was But I really think it is but we'll find out for sure um, So anyways last night when I came in I just was exhausted. I went and ate at McDonald's and I just felt um, I came back and I just like laid in the bed and watched TV and I just I didn't want to film or nothing so I actually today was my zero um, I got up I did laundry I had to mail my old shoes back I got new shoes my challengers were still good but I wanted my Mafati speeds so I got those and I mailed the other ones back because they're still good and I'll use them when I get back for trail running and stuff like that and um, let me see what else oh I uploaded my videos and I I said I did laundry, yeah, and I went and ate, and I guess that's all. I I feel like I did something else, but maybe not. But anyway, I just felt busy all day. Oh yeah, I was trying to schedule um, a shuttle back, but my shuttle driver canceled. Unfortunately, he's busy in the morning. Um, it's not he he does he just does it as like a part time thing when he's not working and stuff. So I'm just gonna take the bus back. Um, I think it runs every like half hour, so no big deal with that. And um, I went and ate at Applebee's today because I saw this commercial for the quesadilla burger. So I just had to get one, man. It was super good too. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get back on trail tomorrow. And I'm planning on doing like 14. If not, if I get there on a little later, there's a 12 mile to bail out at. Um, my next stop will be Manchester Center, so I'm giving myself five days to get there, and, um, and then hopefully, you know, hopefully I won't crash and I'll run smooth, but like I said, I've still been able to do the miles, um, I just have to really push myself at the end, but anyways, my food bag is just weighs so much, I, I can't even stand looking at it, um, but yeah, so... I guess today I'm so full I doubt I'm going to eat anymore. I think I'm just going to finish wrap this video up, upload it, and just do nothing else for the rest of the day. Get up pretty early, get on the bus around hopefully 8-ish, between 8 and 9, and then get back on the trail. And um, until then, I'll talk to you all in the morning. All right.